attend an FC Cincinnati game. The cheers of family-friendly fun. This has become a culture. A culture that is very uh, inclusive, celebrates diversity, uh, that is family-friendly, and that is very involved in making our community uh, a better place. It became apparent uh, from the investigation that there were unacceptable uh, uh, comments. Alleged racial slurs involving now former head coach Ron Yance. Even in 2020, a learning opportunity. I think we're making a very clear statement about the values uh, in our club uh, and uh, a strong statement that um, intolerance um, will, will, will never be accepted. But take a lesson from the past. It's walk and move. Many right. will remember the sure shooter that was former Reds owner Marge Schott. We just got a lot of stuff straightened out. We're getting back to baseball, and that's the name of the game. Schott never afraid to speak her mind. Is this a girl, bad boy, or a boy that needs a guy? Haircut. She made a racist derogatory comment toward African-American Reds players. The type of language commonly used by Mrs. Schott is offensive and unacceptable. And in 1993, Marge Schott again will be suspended from baseball for allegedly making racist remarks. She was fined and banned for eight months. At the office, treated to a party, complete with a red carpet welcome. You're still going, you're still showing. This was her welcome back. I like Marge Schott. She's got the gumption. She's all right. I think she needs a little, uh, a little guidance, though. She would be banned again. Fast forward 27 years. You don't get to pick your moments of adversity. Uh, sometimes they find you, and then we're challenged to uh, to uh, to deal with them.